So I wanted to bring you guys in here. I've got the Browning Pro 22 in the rifle right now. And it's very hard to cycle. I have to really use some force closing the bolt like it's engaging the rifling really hard. And I actually have a live round in here that will not eject. And I've had, this will be my third failure to eject out of this rifle using this Browning ammunition. And mind you, I've shot uh, probably 1400 rounds to this rifle as of now with zero, zero uh, failure to ejects or failure to loads. So this rifle's been spot on. I do believe it's the ammunition, but we're going to clear this jam with my cleaning rod. We'll get back to doing this video. So this is a bullet recovered from the chamber. It's actually crooked. I don't know if it's actually smashing those bullets when it's going in, because I don't believe I'm doing that, pushing it out. But like I said, they're loading really hard. Take a minute here and see. These are the rest. I'll have to add one more to make it a full 20 shot group. They weren't grouping too bad at first. I really thought we had something. Then they kind of fell apart after that. I have to push really hard like I'm smashing it. And here's what we were talking about. Shoving that bullet, trying to get into that chamber. These shells here just are having a heck of a time. That's my fourth one now. Yeah. See how hard that is? I gotta shove that in. I bet you I can't even extract right now if I wanted to. I think I'm smashing those bullets in there. Yeah, I'm actually t bending the bullets as I'm going as I'm pushing them in. It's almost like there's so much lead hanging out or something. This bullet's no longer concentric. It has a the top of it's loppy, but you can see the rifling marks. You got to really push this gun. So, Browning Pro 22, you can already tell from the groups, I'm not a big fan. This by far has been the hardest to eject and cycle. Um, like I said, four failure to loads out of 20 rounds and failure to ejects, you know, four of that combined. Um, that is not what you want for a competition match. So Browning's Pro 22 did not do so hot, both with cycling and with shooting groups. The highest velocity recorded was 1124, which is above the speed of sound where I live. And I could definitely hear that subsonic crack or supersonic crack. Um, the low was a 1068. The average velocity was 1093. The extreme spread was 56 and the SD of 13.